Namaste. Welcome to another episode of India Detailed. Today, we're going to talk about the Mauryan Empire. The Mauryan Empire was one of the largest empires in the world in its time. Its foundation opened a new era in the history of India. Its boundaries extended from the Himalayas in the north to Karnataka in the south, to Assam in the east and to Balochistan and the Hindu Kush mountains in the west. As we know, the first Mauryan ruler was Chandragupta Maurya. Chandragupta Maurya founded the Mauryan kingdom circa 322 BCE. He led a mutiny and overthrew the Nandas with the help of his guru Chanakya. He defeated one of Alexander's successor Seleucus Nicator in the Seleucid Mauryan War and established diplomatic relations with him. He is mentioned by Megasthenes as Sandrakotos. He used marriage alliances, diplomacy, trickery, and even war to expand his power. According to a Jain text, he renounced his throne and became a Jain ascetic at the end of his life. Eventually, Chandragupta Maurya fathered a child named Bindusar. Some Greek sources mentioned him as Amitrokatis. He maintained his father's large dominions quite efficiently and extended the southern borders up to the vicinity of Karnataka. Ashok one of the most popular emperors of India was Bindusar's son. It is said that he killed his brother Sushim and inherited the large kingdom, which excluded Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala, and Kalinga. He used blood to conquer Kalinga. On seeing the destruction caused by the lethal war, he transformed into a peaceful emperor. The edicts of Ashok, which are found throughout the subcontinent, have shown his efforts to develop Dhamma throughout his kingdom. This was the first time when political unity was achieved in India. The Administration of the Mauryans The king was the head of the state and controlled the military, judiciary and legislature and took advice from a council of ministers. The kingdom was divided into provinces under governors and royal princes. Provinces further composed of towns and villages looked after by their own administrators. There were departments to look after almost every aspect of life. The empire had a large espionage system and maintained a huge standing army. The royal revenue was drawn from the taxes. There was internal peace in the kingdom. They had international trade relations with Rome, Greece, Egypt, etc. Ashoka's successors weren't strong enough to hold the empire together. It disintegrated slowly. Bruhadrat was the last ruler who was killed by his own general, Pushyamitra Shunga, thus ending the legacy of the Mauryas. Now, how do we know so much about the Mauryans? Well, these are the sources. One of the most important literary works is Kautilya's Arthashastra, a comprehensive treatise on statecraft and public administration. Vishakhadatta's Mudra Rakshas is a Sanskrit drama of the 4th century CE, which describes the coup against the Nandas by Kautilya. Macasthenes Indica gives details about the Mauryan administration. Apart from these, the Puranas and the Buddhist literature provide information on the Mauryas. The Buddhist texts Ashokavadra, Deepavamsa, and Mahavamsa throw light on the role of Ashok in spreading Buddhism in Sri Lanka. Most of the archaeological evidences of this period were found in Patliputra, the capital of the Mauryas. The Mauryan period marked the beginning of stone and brick architecture. The art and architecture had an influence of Persian, Greek and Roman architecture. The fortification wall at Rajagruha, the remains of the palace at Kumarhar, the rock-cut caves at Barabar, the several stupas at Sanchi, Bharhut, Sopara, Amravati, etc most of the Ashokan pillars and the pillar capitals. Ashoka's edicts and the sculptures of Yakshas and Yakshis, the inscriptions, terracotta figurines, punched mark coins, pottery, etc. provide an extensive source of the bygone times and exhibit the development of man's intellect and artistic powers. So this was it about the elephantine empire of the Mauryas. Hope you liked this episode. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel and remember history is always in the making.